The archaea are old forms of microorganisms. They are all prokaryotic, and these tend to inhabit quite interesting niches of the environment. When we look at them, they can basically be broken down into three major types of groups, which are the halophiles, the thermophiles, and the methanogens. And we'll talk about each one of these. The halophiles, halo is basically salt, are organisms that live in extremely salty environments, which means if you found them, you would find them in a place like the Dead Sea, or you would find them in the Great Salt Lake or somewhere around there. What we've got here is a picture of the lower part of the San Francisco Bay, where they have got these salt ponds. And these salt ponds basically is the way they make sea salt. They pump in water. Since the area is somewhat dry, the water evaporates. And as the water evaporates, you get concentration of the salty environment. And what happens here is the organisms grow in that salty water, and they impart a color on it. As the water dries up, you eventually get the salt out of this, which can then be collected and sold as sea salt. But when we look at the ponds, we actually see things like this. The temperatures that exceed 150 degrees Fahrenheit all the way through the boiling point of water, we have some organisms where their optimal temperature is right around the boiling point of water. So that's up around 100 degrees Celsius, 212 degrees Fahrenheit. These are often found in places like deep sea volcanic vents. And what you've got here is this is place where the Earth's plates, the crust plates come together. One slides under the other. As it slides under the other, it generates a lot of heat that boils the water. The, water, the hot water then dissolves material, and it comes out as these kind of smoking chimneys. And the archaea that are thermophiles would live in this water around that at these extremely high temperatures. This is also a thermophile. This is a geyser area in Yellowstone. And basically, you've got a lot of magma under the ground, which heats up the water, which puts it out at very high temperatures. And these archaea live in them, and they impart these colors to them. So it's a, quite a beautiful sort of area. And you can actually see the that they are unique in the way they grow. We also have the methanogens, and the methanogens are those organisms that generate methane, and methane is created by these archaea. It's often found in the digestive system of animals, and here we've got a couple of little guys out there, and these tend to generate methane, and methane is one of the more nasty greenhouse gases that we have, but everybody who has a digestive system generates to some extent some sort of methane. And they know archaea live in the digestive system because they can pick it up on the DNA. However, not all of the organisms that live in there have been identified. You've got another organism over here that again has a sophisticated digestive system like that, as do these. Therefore, they all tend to generate methane and they are all rather unique. So when we look at the archaea, the archaea are a unique and diverse group of organisms that live in what we would basically call very inhospitable habitats, but they have adapted to that over time. And actually, these are believed to be the oldest living type creatures on Earth because they lived in these types of environments from the very beginning.